Did you know that you can do this from any Nintendo Switch? You don't need a modded Switch or homebrew for this. Or so they say, but does this actually work? Let's see, go to settings, internet, internet settings, select your Wi-Fi, go to change settings, go to DNS settings, change it to manual and under primary DNS, punch in this code. Click OK, click to save, click connect to this network. It will say that registration is required, but the second you press next, you get this. So yeah, it actually works. But what can you actually do on this? Let's search YouTube. It doesn't work. I can't accept the terms and conditions. We need to resort to other video sites. I mean, let's try daily motion. All right, it's getting somewhere. Oh, I guess the browser just can't play videos. What about Reddit? Hmm? Page too big? Come on, it's Reddit. I guess videos don't work here either. Okay, what do other people do on their browser? Let's download free RAM. Okay, free RAM download. Okay, let's download. It seems to be working. Oh, it... It's not legit. Okay then, let's try some good old flash games. Alright, it's loading. And loading. And loading. Okay, after 10 minutes of waiting, it's not loading. And any game here has the same problem. Okay then, let's try WhatsApp Web. Oh, we have Safari on this thing. Nice. Fine then. I will allow it. Let's update this switch to its maximum capacity, so that we will be able to play PS1 games from the browser. Alright. Oh, the update doesn't want to download. Let's try another browser. Okay, none of them download. Okay, what do other people search on a browser? Um, let's try Google Maps. Okay, it seems to be working. Let's try location. It it, it doesn't work. It only seems to be working, but it's not actually working. Fine. There is one last trick to try. GTA 6 Switch version free download. Oh wow. Wow, what is this? Nah, I'm just joking. It, it's not working. You can't download anything on the browser. So in conclusion, the Switch browser is only for show. You can't do much with it. You can't watch YouTube, almost any page you visit, you get this prompt that the page is too big. You can't watch videos, the browser is clunky, you can barely do something on this browser. At least you can browse Wikipedia, but people want more from a browser than just Wikipedia or text pages. You do have a mouse with the joystick and you click with the A button, which is cute, but keep in mind that this browser is only for show. The browser is almost useless, or in the best case scenario, a pain to use. 